Hello everyone, my name is Nupur Saraswat and I, on the behalf of Sri Aurobindo Society, would like to welcome all the teachers on this most successful and innovative idea ZII-EI, that is Zero Investment Innovation for Education Initiative. Through these ideas, we are trying to make our learning process more active and more interesting. And today, on this very platform, the idea which I am going to represent is Naming Method. For this idea, I am going to take class 5th, chapter number 7, People Who Help Us. My subject is English and my board is Uttar Pradesh. The time duration of this idea is 20 minutes. The innovation behind this idea is to bring the ritual practice of naming into learning pedagogy. This idea helps in building inner connection among the concept being taught by replacing their actual name with allotted name for a particular time period. For doing this, educators need to choose the individual names for each student of the class. The name chosen should have scope for value addition. Now assign these names to the student and after two or three days add value to the name by giving the defining it further. For example, concept can be used as names such as for describing words. Name student as uh, chair, student 2 as table, student 3 as pencil and so on. After two days, add a describing word to it. So, the student 1 will be now a blue chair. Student 2 will be a study table. Student 3 will be a long pencil and so on. But before implementing this idea, we should have already completed our building and explanation part of the chapter. This idea is only for the revision purpose. Before starting the activity, educator write the name of the different occupation on the blackboard. Ensure that the reading of the story and the building and explanation part of the various concept has been done before naming the student. Now, initiate the process of naming through the following process. First, name the student by specific word and other student will call them as and address them by the given name. Assign the word related to the chapter on a chat and distribute uh, all these chat among the student. Ask the student to attach these chat so that they, uh, the name on the chat is visible to every student. Continue this process by addressing these students by their assigning names for two or three days. For example, student 1, Rehan, student 2, Pankaj, student 3, Anand, and so on. Conclude the process of naming by adding new information along with the previous name assigned on the third day. For this chapter, different occupation has been added. For example, student 1, Rehan, is a grocer. Student 2 pump, uh, Pankaj is now a plumber. Student 3 Anand is baker and so on. This will lead to revi revise the concept of the chapter which is different kind of occupation. Through this innovative idea implementation the following learning outcomes can be achieved. Answers or in the written or oral form of questions in English based on daily day-to-day -day life experience. They can unfamiliar uh, stories, poem, heard or read. They can act according to the instructions given by the educator in English. For example, uh, they can understand whatever educators say in English language. Explain the role and the functions of different kinds of people in different kinds of uh, occupation. For example, you can explain to the students that what bankers do in bank, like what policemen do in the police station, etc. To make children aware of various kinds of profession and their importance in their daily day-to-day -day life. Uh, educator can also look for different kinds of uh, professions, not only for students, but to help them or to understand how they can work or function in their daily day-to-day -day life. 
Imparting values through life skills while teaching the lessons are like critical thinking, effective communication and self-awareness. Values can be touched upon in this uh, activity is equality. They can feel the equal rights and to be treated with respect and fairness with other different kinds of professions. I really hope you like this idea and you really want to implement this idea in your classroom with your students. If you like this idea and you want more such ideas from our side, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook. Thank you. Goodbye.